Hey everybody, Ludinato here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to restore your HP Vista computer if you have a laptop like me, or I think it applies to all Vistas. So, how to restore it back to the factory condition if you have a bad virus, if it's slow, if it's blah blah blah. reason I'm doing mine is because I did the XP in my other room. Uh, XP is a different process, guys, so people for XP don't watch this video. Um, because I have a lot of crap on there and I don't feel and I'm too lazy to go through each and every one. Plus there are hidden files in the system 32, all that technical stuff that some of you don't understand. But I might provide a tutorial on system 32 files later. Anyway, this is how you're gonna do it. First of all, you have to press start, type in recovery. It's gonna come up come up on the start menu recovery manager, click it, say no, 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 and when it says want to restore it to factory condition, yes. Okay, it's going to ask you to restart. Okay, so after restarting, it's going to bring you up to the recovery manager screen. Let's zoom in, recovery manager. It says, welcome to the recovery manager. Use this program to recover your computer to original factory condition. You're going to press next. Now, Microsoft System Restore. Nah, screw it. If you want it straight back to the original condition, you press now. System recovery. It's procedure restoring your computer, blah, blah, blah. Would you like to pull, uh, recover to your system, blah, blah, blah. Yes. I'm going to press next. Now, you got the warning sign, guys. You got the warning sign. This got to be serious. Recover your computer, blah, blah, blah. This process will reinstall the original factory shipped software. All user created files will be lost, 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 lost. All files created after purchase and all programs installed after purchase will be lost. Do you want to back up your fucking data before the recovery begins? Okay. Well, because I just want to make sure I have everything, I'm going to back up some things. I'm going to press next. Um, usually if you don't have a lot of important things, you can just say no. Okay, guys. Um, here's a tip. If you're just, you have a lot of documents and settings and stuff... I would not suggest doing the recovery manager unless you really, really need it. Because this has been going for like 15 minutes and no drive available. Right. Kind of forgot to uh, install my USB drive. My bad. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay, guys. So, if you're not going to back up, don't back up because it takes a long time. And if you don't have a USB drive you'd be screwed in that sense. So just say recover without backing up drive. Sorry it's kind of blurry. Keep in mind uh, my screen recording software obviously is being deleted so I can't use it. Next, factory image recovery. Now this is important guys. You're going to reformat your Windows partition of your hard disk drive and you're going to reinstall your original content. So right now they're doing that for me, and it's at 1%. One flipping percent. So this is going to take a while, and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, guys, so this took about maybe 30, 35 minutes to do, but this the screen that will show up after you do your recovery, it says recovery is complete once your system... Uh, what's that say? Sorry. Once your system restarts and you finish the initial setup of your computer, you will need to perform some additional important steps. Update security files from Microsoft and HP. Very important. Reinstall software that did not come with your computer and restore any files that were not backed up during this process. If applicable, click finish to restart. Okay, so we're going to go click finish. Finish. Okay, and we get a black screen. It's going to give you that little ticking dot. It's going to go black again. It's going to do a whole restart. That means that everything was wiped. Goodbye, old computer. Oh, my God. Look at the computer I just bought from HP, Mom. Look, it turns on. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to use my new computer. Oh, wow. Okay. So, now that you have a quote-unquote new computer... And you've had some fun doing God knows what, maybe watching TV, cleaning your room, doing something of that nature. You're going to wait for this little puppy to boot back up by Copyright Microsoft Corporation. Going to zoom out. Alright, let's see what happens. What will happen? What, oh, what will happen? 
It usually takes a while for a new computer to boot up anyway. So we're going to see what happens. Sorry about the rocking, I'm just bored. Okay, here we go. Please wait a moment while Windows prepares to start for the first time. Oh my god, I got a new computer! Oh my god! Okay, this might take a while, so we're going to uh, pause this. It's as though this process might take at least two hours to do, including updating your drivers and your software updates and all that stuff. It's actually worth it if you got a bad virus and you're not smart enough to, like, get it out. I, I just don't enjoy doing processes like this, but they're worth it in the end, like... I mean, I'll take you to my other computer that I just, uh, redid. Uh, if it'll turn on. Come on, bud. Oh, or if I turn back on the monitor. See, I cleaned this one up, and uh, this used to be loaded with shit all over the place. So now I just have my Adware, Adobe Reader, AOL, AVG. Thing is, if you're a video editor like me, there's just shit that just keeps building up. That's why you should get something called a virtual hard drive. You can research that on uh, Google or YouTube, whatever you want. I don't have one yet because I haven't created one. Oh, this is a great software right here, Driver Genius Professional. Because the thing with XP is uh, sometimes it doesn't have a uh, safety driver like in the D Dimension 3000 Dell. Um, I'm probably not going to buy a Dell again because I wasn't very thrilled with the way they perform. But uh, yeah, get that for XP um, once you restore it. Because what's going to happen is... Uh, you're not going to have your drivers and you're going to be clueless. So you have to run something like that. You might think Driver Doctor or whatever that thing's called uh, works great. But you have to pay for it to download the drivers. And if you try to search for a serial code, you can't do it. Because YouTube doesn't per uh, provide any. Don't worry, I tried looking for one. Doesn't work. Um, out of all the uh, softwares, I mean, you can get Adobe serials for like free. And yet you can't get simple... Things like that. Adobe, some softwares cost like, what, a thousand bucks? I mean, damn. Alright, I'll be back once this is done. Okay, and you got the Windows Vista, country or region, blah, 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 keyboard layout. So you fill out all those forms that you need to fill out. Um, you guys pretty much know where you live and what time zone you're in. You're going to have to do the license agreements twice, blah, blah, blah. But overall, it's that's it, guys. And it's going, I'll uh, get the next clip once I'm done reinstalling my information. Guys, uh, also, a great thing about reinstalling your whole computer is you get Norton Internet Security for, like, I don't know how long, I think 30 days. Got to click Continue. Wow, I got Vongo. I don't even know what Vongo is. Press I agree and it'll do the whole thing. But I hate Norton, so I'm not using it. I'm using AVG Free.